College football fans, Bobby Bowden's former players, assistant coaches, and all who got the opportunity to meet the coach continue to pay tribute to a man who touched so many. Bowden lost his battle with pancreatic cancer with his family by his side early Sunday morning. The man who turned Florida State into a college football dynasty was beloved by so many. And while the Hall of Fame coach won lots of games and conference titles on the field, it's what he did in the lives of his former players and just people in general that made him such an incredible champion. Andrew Jackson alum, the young Washington, one of the best kick returners to play at FSU, shared with me how Coach Bowden flipped him from being a Gator to a no. I kind of grew up a Gator fan. I'm not going to even lie. You know, I hate to say that, but, you know, I grew up in Jacksonville. You know, most of my family were Gator fans at the time. And so, you know, with the recruiting process coming out of high school, I took a visit down to Tallahassee and I just totally switched when I met Bobby Bowden. I mean, he was someone that reminded me, reminded me of my parents so much because he was a man of faith. And that really attracted me. So I just remember, you know, him coming to my house on East 16th Street um, in Jacksonville, Florida, on the east side, and uh, visiting me. And I just totally switched, and I committed to Florida State. An outpouring of support from around the world on social media for Bobby Bowden. So let's get socially acceptable. We began one of the greatest Seminoles under Bowden, Deion Sanders. Primetime saying that he lost one of the best coaches he ever had, a man of God and a true father figure when most young men arrive on college campuses without the love, affection and correction of a father. Heisman Trophy winner Charlie Ward saying he reflects on Bowden's amazing legacy, not just as a coach, but as a man, a mentor and an incredible person of faith. Former Gator head coach Steve Spurrier also expressing his admiration for Bowden, noting they had some good battles during his 12 years at Florida, uh, which Bowden won most of. And Bowden's successor at Florida State, Jimbo Fisher, posting on his family's foundation account, Coach Bowden, you taught us how to live, love, and lead. And finally, Governor Ron DeSantis expressing his condolences to the Bowden family. Bobby Bowden was awarded the inaugural Governor's Medal of Freedom in April. On Friday, the coach will become the first Florida citizen to lay an honor at the state capitol rotunda. Services for Bowden will begin on Friday with two chances for the public to honor him. Friday from 2 to 7 at Dope Campbell Stadium. Then on Saturday morning, his funeral service will take place at the Tucker Center at 11 o'clock. Bowden will be buried in Trustville, Alabama this Sunday. Coming up tonight, all new at 530, I'm one-on-one -on -one with one of Bowden's former players who explains how the coach was a champion at being a father to the fatherless. That's tonight, all new at 530.